which posed no problem in laptop mode but was a bit awkward when I used the PC as a tablet. The stylus made it manageable to navigate the PC without a keyboard, as did the PC's tablet easy controls, which provide large, context-sensitive icons for doing things like closing and minimizing browser windows in Internet Explorer. There's still no getting around the reality that Windows 7's classic design wasn't built for touch, but fortunately, the Portage can also be outfitted with Windows 8.1. The Portage is pretty lean on pre-installed apps, featuring common Toshiba utilities for keeping drivers up to date and monitoring the PC's health. The notebook also includes one month of Microsoft Office 365 for new users, as well as a trial of McAfee's LifeSafe antivirus software. Even with no fans, the Portage manages to stay mostly at a comfortable temperature during long periods of use. After I streamed 15 minutes of HD video, the touchpad and keyboard grew to 75 and 76 degrees, respectively, both remaining way under our 95 degree comfort threshold. Be careful if you're using the Portage in tablet-only mode, however, after the same streaming period, the back of the display grew to a scorching 106 degrees Toshiba claims that the Portage offers up to 17 hours of battery life with the keyboard dock attached, and 9 hours of battery life in tablet mode. The notebook didn't quite live up to those numbers in our testing, but it came impressively close enduring for an epic 14 hours and 37 minutes in laptop mode and 7 hours and 29 minutes when undocked. The Portage's battery life trumps that of the Latitude 7350, which lasted 10 hours and 11 minutes docked, and just 5 hours and 14 minutes in tablet mode. At 8 hours, the Vernu 11S tablet portion lasted longer than the Portage's, but the PC improved to just 1333 with the keyboard attached. The Surface Pro 3 which doesn't gain any extra juice from its keyboard, lasted 7 hours and 42 minutes, which beats the portages and dock runtime but falls short of our...